so hi friends this is amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video so in this video i will talk about the marks versus percentile expected for the next attempt it is the most important video for all the student because they, they need a uh, expected marks so that they can uh, prepare according to that so that they can uh, achieve their goal in the next attempt. Uh, so i am considering this video only to give you a aim that you can achieve in the next attempt by pre preparing according to that so many students have asked me to make a video on marks versus percentile that is expected because anyone don't know about the date of the next attempt but i am giving you a uh, uh, expected marks versus percentile based on the difficulty level uh, that okay. that will be in the next attempt as i have the experience for the last year or last year j also there was a similar condition for the september attempt of the j so uh, same is to be happen uh, in the next attempt so i am considering this video after taking all those factors that is number of student may decrease in the next attempt and the difficulty level will increase competition will increase it takes so much effort to make those data so please try to watch the video till the end so that you will get the complete information about the marks versus percentile uh, next i will make a video in which i will talk about the safe score category wise which is the safe marks or safe percentile for each type of category for a top top 10 nit cs top 10 nit other branches or any nit or any triple it so all those things will be discussed in the next video so please try to subscribe the channel if you haven't done it yet and try to share this video to your friends so that they can also get this much needed information for the next attempt and, and here i will also talk about the expected cut off marks that you, that you need to a score in order to be eligible for the je advanced exam that i will discuss category wise so let's start the video so there is a information for all the student who are preparing for the je yeah, mains there is a scholarship exam uh, on the h ranker website you just need to go to uh, h ranker website you will get the link in the description box and this is completely free of cost you just need to register and you have three days time you can give the test and if you get a rank under 10 you will get free test series which is cost of 3500 but if you don't get a rank under 10 you can avail this test series by just paying 2100 that is using the code information you will get that link also to join this test series in the description box but it's a it's a very good opportunity for all the students to get a rank under 10 and uh, you you can show your talent also because many students will register for this uh, test and you can uh, you can do the test whenever you want it will start from 8th of may uh, and continue till 11th and you will get the result on 11th 7 pm you will get so try to register for this exam and also you will get the mentorship of iit and teacher so they will mentor you and uh, and instruct you how you should prepare for the next attempt so as to get a good college so please try to uh, try to register for this uh, a scholarship exam because it will not take any type of money it will only take your time and it will give you the experience how much you have prepared for the j mains exam so now come to the point that expected is, cut off marks and percentile for the next attempt that is uh, uh, that is the marks or percentile that you have to score to be eligible for the j advanced exam and next i will talk about the marks versus percentile data in detail so here is the first one that is for general 90 to 92 percentile is required it will remain same if the number of a student decreases then you can uh, expect it to be 90 to 91 but uh, for now it is 90 to 92 and that will remain for every attempt it doesn't changes because it is the cutoff percentile marks changes because to get those marks you have to uh, score different marks in the different attempt so for the next attempt it will be around 105 to 110 marks you have to score to be eligible for the je advanced exam it is expected so don't be confused about this if the date uh, and now i am thinking that uh, the exam will conducted after at least 40 days so for general you need to score these marks for obc 70 to 75 percentile will be the cutoff and you have to score 82 to 85 marks to get those percentile for ews 71 to 74 percentile and to get those percentile you need to score 80 to 84 marks and for sc 50 to 55 percentile needed and you have to score 60 to 65 marks and for st 40 to 45 percentile and you need to score around 50 to 55 marks so if you have any type of doubt in preparation if you want any type of preparation tips or you have any type of uh, problem uh, while the preparing for the next attempt you can ask me in the comment section or join the instagram or whatsapp group I will try to help you in all possible ways so that you can achieve your goal in the next attempt so try to uh, join me through the insta or whatsapp you will get both the link in the description box so now come to the um, main point that is the marks versus percentile so i have made this data by considering all the factors as i told earlier and i have assumed that the exam will take place only after 40 days 
so if it is happen earlier or later then i will make another video that is marks versus percentile expected that will be the updated marks versus percentile but if it is 40 days then it will uh, this video will remain valid for that attempt so try to watch this video till end i will discuss all those things and next i will make a video that is safe a score that is marks or percentile category wise to get top an uh, it top triple it or top gfti or any an it with uh, Uh, any branch or cs branch so all those things will be discussed category wise in the next video so please try to subscribe so that you will get that video also uh, very soon on this channel only so for 99.9 to 100 percentile the marks range would be 255 to 275 for 99.8 to 99.9 the marks range will be 245 to 255 and for 99.6 to 99.8 percentile range you need to score around 235 to 245 marks and for 99.4 to 99.6 percentile you need to score 225 to 235 marks and for 99 to 99.4 you need to score around 215 to 220 you can also expect it uh, to get 99 percentile on 2 210 marks also uh, this will be the safe score if you get 215 to 225 your percentile will be around 99 to 99.4 so the next is 98.5 to 99 percentile range you will get on the marks of 200 to 215 so the next percentile is 98 to 98.5 you will get it at 185 to 200 marks so the so the marks have increased because the competition level will increase as you also seen in the uh, march attempt uh, in comparison of fab attempt so this time um, many student got so much time to prepare so if they got less marks in the fab attempt or march attempt they will come hard and by preparing for the more syllabus they will uh, try to score more percentile so it will increase the marks versus percentile so 97.5 to 98 percentile you need to score 175 to 185 and for 97 uh, to 97.5 you need to score at least 165 to 175 marks and for 96 to 97 you need to score 145 to 165 marks so the next some more data is here uh, because i i always try to consider for all type of category so the lower percentile will be uh, useful for the category that is pwd sc st so here is some uh, more data about marks versus percentile that is 95 to 96 you need to score 130 to 145 marks and for 93 to 93 to 95 percentile range you need to score 115 to 130 marks and for the 90 to 93 percentile you need to score 105 to 115 marks and for 85 to 90 percentile you need to score 95 to 105 marks and for 80 to 85 percentile you need to score 90 to 95 marks and for the 75 to 80 percentile range 85 to 90 marks will be enough and for 70 to 75 80 to 85 marks required and for 60 to 70 70 to 80 marks will be required and for 50 50 to 60 percentile you need to score 60 to 70 uh, 70 marks and for uh, 40 to 50 percentile you need to score 50 to 60 marks so this is all about the expected marks versus percentile i have discussed expected cut off category wise also that is the marks required in the next attempt in in order to be eligible for the next attempt so hope you find this video very useful and don't forget to register for the scholarship test that is free of cost you will not lose any type of money you will only get uh, the test series and also the iit and mentorship if you get a rank under 10 so try to uh, try to register for that test series you will get link in the description box so thanks for watching this video